Spunk had a nice gap up on the daily chart after they announced their earnings uh, within the last 24 hours. On the bigger chart, you can see that this 13th simple monthly moving average is curling up and served as support at the $95 level where early this month price hit a low. Currently price is trading at 114 however it is coming to an area uh, where price can stall. You can see that a little bit more clearer on the weekly chart. I like to call this a rally in price, a base in candles and then a, a drop in price, right? Um, so this would be the first level um, that price has to contend with. Um, now, before we continue with the analysis, let's get into this article. It is coming from Investors Daily. Spunk, Spunk stock boosted 13% as the company offers strong software sales outlook. Data analytics and cybersecurity software firm Splunk reported a quarterly earnings beat Wednesday and raises outlook for the rest of the year. Splunk officials increase the company's sales outlook for the rest of fiscal 2024, which ends in January. The firm now sees $3.94 billion at the midpoint, up from $3.9 billion. Analyst poll by Factset had called for sales of $3.91 billion for the fiscal year. Alright, so Splunk offers cloud-based software tools that allow corporations to crunch data in real time. Um, that can allow companies to identify operational issues in their software as well as potential security breaches. Also, company leaders said Splunk is increasingly using AI to boost its offerings. Who isn't using AI these days? Analysts took the results in the management commentary as a sign that the company is finding stability while other companies have been more cautious with software spending. According to a Stiefel's analyst, uh, we believe the worst of headwinds are behind and await growth stabilization in the coming quarters. Beyond the top line, we believe Splunk is well positioned to drive improving profitability and cash flow generations over the next several years. Here's another analyst talking about um, recent earnings and uh, what they see moving forward. This this analyst is coming from Evercore ISI, and they had a they have a price target of 125, so we'll, we'll keep in mind that 125 level. While Splunk remains off most investor radar screens, management continues to deliver on driving more profitability, profitable growth, and we believe Splunk remains one of the more idiosyncratic stories in software heading into the second half of the year. All right, so 125, that would put uh, the target. Right about here, 125. All right, let's put that in green. All right, so I want to zoom out again to that monthly chart. Again, price is at 113. You know, if you can get through this patch where price is currently sitting, although. Evercore has a target at 125. You know, there's really nothing stopping price from getting up to 140. That'll be the next level where you have resistance support, which would become resistance again. In relation to the macro picture, again, this is where um, that one analyst had. Their target at 125. All right, so I'm going to scroll back down two time frames, um, factor of four to the daily chart. Just look at what we saw on the the weekly. All right, you have a level of interest. You have sellers at this level here, uh, which price is entering right now. But I want to scan that price structure yeah it's not gonna hold there's really no volume here right the real volume kicks in um, or kicked in at the 108 level so this is not gonna hold I'm gonna take this off the chart all 
All right, so I like the analyst call. <clears throat> this patch of trading. You can say you had a, a drop in price, many basing candles, and then a drop in price again. So this would be a drop, base drop. But a lot of basing candles here I don't like too much. And on the leg out, um, not on high volume. Um, so I like this 140 as a level longer term, maybe going into uh, 2024. Um, what's nice is that you had a gap and go. Uh, price gap from the $100 level to the 110 and it's currently pushing to that 114 level. Again, you have this pivot to the left of price, but um, I don't anticipate it, it being a showstopper. Um, for now, I do like I like the 122 and a half instead, just in case price stalls at this level here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.